Well, Chicago is set to pay $2.9 million to Ann Jeanette Young in a lawsuit over that botched police raid on her home back in 2019. City Council members gave initial approval to the settlement this afternoon. WGN's political reporter Taman Bradley is live on the South Side with more. Lourdes and Ben, good afternoon. Today, City Council acknowledged it's time to try to right a wrong. After a closed door meeting yesterday, today a first vote to approve a settlement for Anjanette Young. Anjanette Young, the woman at the center of this humiliating and frightening 2019 botched police raid, is one step closer to settling her lawsuit against the city. Today, the City Council Finance Committee signed off on a $2.9 million payment all parties have agreed to uh, Ms. Young and her council in the city of $2.9 million. Mayor Lightfoot says she's comfortable with the agreement. We all saw that horrific video. We all saw um, the way in which she was treated. And I've made extensive comments about it um, from the time that I saw it um, and uh, into this, the early part of this year. I think it's a good thing uh, that this matter is resolved. It's been almost one year since video of the errant raid came out making national headlines. City lawyers initially requested sanctions against Young and then her lawyers for sharing the video with the press. The request was later dropped. At first, Mayor Lightfoot claimed she had no knowledge of the matter before walking that statement back after a review of internal emails showed a top aide brought the raid to her attention. The fallout for Lightfoot in the city was enormous. The mayor personally apologized to Young. Corporation Council Mark Flesner resigned and CPD revised its policy on raids. We need to heal from this and move forward. The older people unanimously endorsed the payment to Young but some are not happy. In my opinion, it feels as though this settlement is not enough. My heart of heart tells me that this is insufficient. The settlement now heads to the full city council for approval, but for approval. But there are many questions about the raid and the city's handling of it that remain. There's an IG report that still has not been released, and also a private law firm is investigating the matter. That report also has not been issued. We are live tonight uh, from Bronzeville. Tamon Bradley, WGN News. All right, Tamon, thank you.